Over the past week, I've been challenging myself to the newly released PlayStation 5 exclusive, Returnal. It is a roguelite third-person shooter set into a science fiction world with psychological horror elements. You play as an astronaut explorer by the name of Selena Vassos. She is heading off to a planet called Atropos where she is investigating what she dubs as the white shadow signal. And this signal for whatever reason seems to speak to her like she finds it very familiar. But on her way towards that planet, her ship suffers some very heavy damage towards the wing causing it to crash onto the planet. And this is basically where Returnal starts. This game being a roguelite third person shooter, you find yourself traversing through six different levels within this game where you have to pick up items and weapons to fight off the various Cthulhu-like aliens that basically just want nothing to do with you. The roguelike part comes into play because you basically have to survive throughout your entire playthrough. If at any moment where you find yourself low on health and end up dying, you go back to square one, the very beginning point of the game. So it's very you know smart for you to want to grab as much health and to be wise about where what type of weapons you're using and where you want to attack and the enemies that are around because you could be off towards the very end and one mistake could cause you to have to restart all over again but that aspect of a roguelike game also makes it very rewarding when you don't end up dying and you actually progress through each level. Throughout the game, you not only find out more about the setting of this game and the origins behind what's happening, but you find out more about the main character, Celine, and just basically what she's going through and what she's struggling, and eventually finding out that this whole mission trip wasn't even improved by the company she works for, rather this is kind of a solo dolo thing she's on. Celine early on figures out that this isn't her first time going through this planet, it's actually various multiple times where she finds her deceased corpse around different parts of each stage, containing letters and voice notes that basically explain what her previous self was going through. There's a lot of lore of Celine within this game that you find, including even various harks back to her past. I think that's as much as I can say about the story and the game, um, because I haven't even finished it yet, but I'm getting closer to to it, but I wanted to put this video out because I wanted to basically talk about what I really like about this game and what I really don't like, but also at the same time, how this game really wasn't on my radar and kind of surprised me by how much fun I've been having and how much I really like it. The level design, the various items, the weapons, the movement and fluidity of the character when she is progressing through each stage, as well as the attacks and various enemies that you face are all phenomenal. I've never played a game where I've been so engrossed in the setting and everything that comes with it to the point where I'm forgetting that I'm playing this game and at times I feel like I may be watching a movie or a TV show because it is just that well thought out. The boss fights at the end of each level that you play are also really good and fun. They may come off at first as really hard because they're doing so much at you and you have to really react quick as in any other roguelite game when you're fighting a boss. But like a roguelite game, the boss attacks are all in repetition. There is a path that they follow along that you'll pick up as you notice. And with that study, you'll be able to know and plan exactly how you're going to attack them and get their life bar down all the way to the point where you defeat them. Now, the one and done aspect in terms of your life and when you die and having to restart back at point one, I know can be very off-putting to a lot of people. In the beginning, I was kind of taken back by that and wishing that there was a checkpoint system or even a save system in this game. However, I don't mind playing through a lot of these levels again because in this game, each level also isn't the same when you go back into it. The game is able to basically change each level through each playthrough that you're doing. So what you remember in the various stages from your first playthrough before you died is going to change and be different on the second playthrough. The stages are just basically mixed around, kind of like in randomization, which makes it more of an opportunity for you as the player and the character to explore more of that area, to find more items and Easter eggs, eventually leading you to unlock even trophies for the PlayStation 5 if you're into that. The plus side also to this is even though when you die and have to restart at point one, any of the various items or abilities that you obtain will come back with you. So you're not entirely out of the blue having to start as like 
a baby level one. You'll be able to retain those items and get through the stages very, very quickly. And there's even, if you know what you're doing, there's even parts in the game where you can get to a shortcut that can make you jump ahead to maybe the fourth or fifth stage you were at where you died without having to traverse through the previous two and three. The ability to explore levels you've already been to that are different and randomized makes it also more addicting to want to have multiple playthroughs even if let's say you complete the game and so forth there's an aspect to one of complete exploring each level and it just is one of the best features i think this game has going for it now the few things that i have a problem when it comes to this game is the fact that there really isn't a checkpoint feature into this yes i understand that roguelike games really aren't supposed to have save points and that's just the nature of it like once you die you gotta go back to one but even some roguelike games have the ability to have a temporary checkpoint where you don't have to necessarily go all the way back to square one but Returnal unfortunately doesn't have this feature. Another thing too that I find very frustrating was this game wasn't released in an entirely complete state. And there was people reporting about bugs and crashes that were happening midway through their long play sessions, having them to restart. Now, Housemark, which is the creators behind the game, pushed an update, but even they had to pull back that update because that was missing some people's playthroughs. They addressed the issue by pushing an update to fix that update, of course, but obviously that's a growing pain on there that shouldn't really be there. And the last thing too also is the fact that since there isn't a checkpoint or a saving feature, if you are in a long play session and you don't want to turn off your system, but you're just tired or you have to walk away for a second, you basically have to put the console in standby mode and not close the game out, which is fine for most people. But then you face the issue if, God forbid, your power goes out or if you have your system on auto update, the game's going to shut down and then there goes your playthrough. These issues are, of course, minor things that can definitely be addressed in the future, which I think speaks a lot about how good, not just good, how great this game has been and how much I really love playing this game and I'm going to continue through all the way to the very end. And I think that if you're somebody that can get past having to replay uh, each level after you die, the repetitive nature, and you're just infatuated with the science fiction and the psychological horror setting in any game, then I think you should definitely give Returnal a chance. It is definitely a sleeper hit of a PlayStation 5 exclusive. And my rating for this game, I would definitely give it a 9.5 out of 10. 0.5, obviously, if they can address those three things, then it would be a perfect 10 out of 10 for me. And that's all I have to say for this. Let me know what you guys think in the video. Leave a like, comment on what you think, and subscribe for more. This is Thess. Stay safe and God bless.